Hi there, been a while. Um, I think it's like over 600 days, almost two years since I have done a video. Uh, but it is Pokemon Day today and I thought there is one particular game that might pop up. And I feel like I've got to record this more than anyone on like the YouTube space. If there is a Mystery Dungeon game, I'm here for it. Uh, it is starting. I thought I had a bit more time for a an intro. Well. Hello, everyone. I'm Ichihara from the Pokemon there you go. Company. <laughs> you can see I've not done YouTube in so long and got that wrong. Um, let's watch this. This is the date that the Pokemon Red and Pokemon Green games were but, first um, released in Japan. Just while he's talking, um, I know I've not uploaded in ages. I'll kind of talk about that in another At video. Time, but I appreciate all the comments Pokemon people have left for me and stuff like that. It's it's that been um been an interesting time. I didn't think I'd upload again. Uh, even if there's no Mystery Dungeon reveal today. I still kind of want to see what happens. I, I, I'll see, like, what I'll do this year in terms of YouTube. But uh, if there is a Mystery Dungeon video, I'm definitely, uh, I'm definitely on that. So I think this is like 20 minutes long. Um, God, this is so weird, like recording. <laughs> I don't know how I used to fill the time. Yeah, it's 20 minutes long. I'm expecting Scarlet and Violet DLC. Um, maybe some new Pokemon. Hopefully, some new games, some spin-off games. We're going to be talking about world championships here. Hello, Pokemon trainers. I'm Chris Brown from the Pokemon Company Chris, International. Chris Brown. I'm so glad. <laughs> okay. To join you I did hear that right. About our annual Pokemon World Championships. This past year in London, more than ten. Yeah, I should have gone to that. All over the world. But I kind of just fallen off Pokemon. Clearly, with like class. two years of no uploads. Um, <laughs> but I really enjoyed Scarlet and Violet, especially Legends. So Pokemon Legends was ace. Um, again to our this isn't really my kind of thing, like. Now VGC like and all that, all, like, I know it is for a lot of people. Not for me. Where are they doing this then? Oh, is it Very Yokohama? Looks like Yokohama. Look forward to trainers battling in the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon huh. Violet games. Uh, I'm hopefully off to Japan Trainer this year, so, I mean, Go, I guess Pokemon I could be... August 11th oh, right, no, nope, never mind. Oops. Oh, it is Yokohama. No, I'm going a month after. Ah, oh, bit awkward. Bit awkward. That would have been nice, actually. Today, I am happy to share the key art for Yokohama for the very on, first time. Let's have a look. It's got to have some Scarlet Violet Pokemon. I just see, yeah, some Brigatito, Boy Kyoko, and Quaxley. Oh, this is cool. I like that. Oh, I, I, do you know what? I ain't gonna lie. I can't really remember the, the new the Pokemon Generations so uh, names. I'm still kind of like, <laughs> I proper dropped off Pokemon. Um, but I know I'm a Quexley gang. What are those sushi ones called? Don't know. I did complete the Pokedex. You probably won't believe me. Thank you. Right. Come on. Let's get some uh, some new games going. We can't wait to see everyone together in Yokohama later this year. Moving on. Please have a look at this video. Okay. Wait, isn't this the start of... Oh. Oh, TCG. I thought this was the same thing as the Scarlet and Violet kind of reveal. It kind of gave me that vibe, that security guard. Um, oh, are these the new... The new packs? Huh. Okay, very old school. Again, when I do get Pokemon cards, I, I'm just one of those who collects them. Actually just started getting the... Was it Zenith Crown or Crown Zenith ones? Um, yeah, started it the other day. That's going to be a, a pain to complete. But they're really good, a really good set. So I don't really... I'll be honest, I don't know if this is any different to, to usual. There are going to be people watching this who, who know exactly <laughs> what's going on probably shouting at me um yeah are they they're not doing reprints of them are they or they i thought they already have interesting maybe it is like a reprint thing Pokemon but i thought they did that recently right 
is designed to be a premium Pokemon TCG stick. <laughs> premium, yeah, you ain't kidding with that Charizard. Created by the design firm Nimble, Creatures, and the Pokemon Company as a joint production. We'll be providing a sneak peek of the product at the Pokemon World Championships. So I hope you will all come check it out. I like his shirt, by the way. i just Next, seen the, what, Pokeball buttons? announce a new Pokemon venture. Oh? To tell you more, we have Miss Min Young Kim from Netflix. Oh, oh. <laughs> I was ready for the game. Thank okay. Thank you for the kind introduction. Hi, everyone. My name is Min Young Kim, and I oversee Netflix film and series from Asia Pacific. Thank you Pokemon for TV show. I think it's got... I, to share I want to say I heard something about this. Pokemon and Netflix together for the first time this year. At Netflix, we're passionate about developing local programming that entertains audiences around oh, the world. Oh, is it? And so today, it's not a Netflix we're game, pleased is it? to announce that Netflix, in collaboration with the Pokemon Company, are producing a brand new Netflix series, oh, okay, the Pokemon good. Concierge. We have a group of experts here in Japan who are passionate about finding and developing original stories from Japan. That can excite audiences all over the world. I mean, I really enjoyed Detective and Pikachu. I was kind of surprised they never really did like a, a follow up to that. So, shows. with this title, we're excited can to we see something from this? New that the Pokemon universe or is this going to be one of them like Pokemon? Animation. Pokemon Sleep was it? That they just kind of show a logo and then don't do anything. With the amazing creative team Let's at have a look. Dwarf Studio. The series which will be set at the Pokemon Resort, follow the story of our concierge Haru and the many Pokemon who visit as guests. We hope Ooh. you enjoy today's first look at the Netflix series. Yo, here we go. Pokemon Live action. And Let's we do can't it. wait to share more with you. This has been... Um... Oh, Pokemon is it not? Why am I thinking it's live action? It's not going to be, is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh well, um, forget everything I said. Why did I just assume Netflix? I think live action, not whatever this is going to be, unless it is. But I really doubt it. <laughs> I feel like I should just leave YouTube all over again after that. <laughs> that I mean, that look, that look cute. I guess I don't know. Don't really do much for me. You could have said that before, pal, and saved me, like, the embarrassment. Please stay tuned for this new um, you know, first I don't know the new Pokemon names, and now I'm, now, yeah, <laughs> I'm so out of the game. News about our games. Here we go. This is what I'm here for. This is what I'm here for. Mr. Ichinomiya, please take it away. Okay. Please. They're going to start with probably, like, Pokemon Unite. Hello. Yo, it's this guy. I see you I'm once Ichinomiya a year, bro. From the Pokemon Company. Have you all been making good progress with your treasure hunt in the Paldea region? Yo, completed that. I'm sure yeah, a lot of you have. We have um, updates on the Pokemon Scarlet and yeah, Pokemon yeah. Violet. Yeah, yeah. I'm here for this. But first, please take a look at the latest updates about several of our other games. Oh, okay. Come on. Come on. Right, I knew to start with Unite. If we are getting explorers, I'm expecting it to start with, like, the ocean waves kind of noise. So like a black screen, you hear that first. Because I think with um, Rescue Team, they kind of started with the noise of the text box, kind of. I don't know, for me, when I think Explorers, I think the waves, the beach, um, maybe even like, oh yeah, maybe just a starting kind of area when you find your partner or the character on the beach, that kind of thing. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'll be fuming if they don't announce the Mystery Dungeon. It's been three years, and that's flown by since then. Um, never played Pokemon Unite. It's not really kind of my thing. <laughs> Bro, he's so classy, I like it. Um, it looks cool. I'm just bad at these kind of games. I mean, maybe it is time for me to get on this, but I, I don't even have much time for gaming anymore. Um, which is... Uh, a little contradictory when I'm saying I've completed Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Pokedex, but I generally just don't have time for it. So, I mean, maybe. Maybe could get on this. Let me know if it's any good. I've heard it's good. I just, yeah, I'm crap at these kind of like League of Legends type games. Oh, that's cool. Do you know the skins are sick for this? I'm not going to lie. There's uh, some really cool ones. 
Dragon Knight is such a cool Pokemon. Like, this is kind of what I'd like these kind of costumes in the mainline games. Uh, just, it gives a bit more variety to your Pokemon. A proper reach, like, it's not going to happen. Right, come on. Mystery Dungeon, please. Um, is, well, <laughs> I don't think it is. Look at all the small lives. Oh, okay. There definitely is Pokemon because that's like a Fido. That's... Oh, God. Wait. Oh, they're going to do a new cookbook. I, I know there's a... That's cool. Oh. Oh. No. <laughs> I know there's going to be people who love this out here. Like Cafe Remix. I got very excited that they were like, hey, here's a cookbook. Because there is like kind of like a... I don't know if it's an official or unofficial one. Um, It's really cool. I mean, this looks this looks fun. I, I feel like I'm just <laughs> hating everything they're putting out. Um, right, they're gonna end with a Scarlet and Violet DLC. Like, let's let's be real. They did that with Sword and Shield, I think. Um, I can't remember what it was actually called. The first one. Uh, we didn't. Did they? I don't really show Crown Tundra off that early. They showed the beach one. Um, so I'm I'm thinking we get the first wave of Scarlet and Violet. I mean, this is cute. It's just not my kind of thing. I don't even know what is my kind of thing. Pokemon Legends. I like that. That's I'd play that again. Like if they put a new one out. Right. Cool. Love an Eevee as always. Got one right there. As <laughs> just got to fill that bed space. Right. Come on. Come on. Oh. Huh. Oh. Right. Pokemon Legends. Wait, not Legends. What am I on about? Um, the mobile game. What the heck? Pokemon Masters. I don't know why. I s I've just got Pokemon Legends in the brain. Um, yeah, it's cool. Like, it was, I kind of fell off it. But I kind of like the effort. The voice acting is cool. You know, stuff like that. That's what Pokemon needs. Like, the mainline games. Um, I don't know. God, Sword and Shield. How is Sword and Shield, like, going to be four years old? This year. I wanna be as strong as rage. Huh. Now, I'm going I don't know why, that just didn't really look like Hop to me. His model's a bit different. Oh, they got Betty, Bead. I never knew how to pronounce it. Paint is all well and good, I suppose. But I think I'll cover you in the color of cute. That's cool. Oh, Marnie. Hell yeah. Marnie's like one of the more memorable things from Sword and Shield for me. Oh, so they're just adding all the uh, legendary the birds. The art's cool for these. That's also a thing. That's uh, I keep forgetting Let's they do. Yeah, it's fine. It's not really my thing again. <laughs> I'm just saying. I, there's nothing I'm really like too bothered about besides some main lines and a couple of spin-offs at the moment. Ah, oh, 3,000 gems. Is that going to get me back on it? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I have some cool like units on that, but I've not played it in a couple of years. Right. Show me some big boy games, bro. Oh, it's gonna be Pokemon Sleep, right? It's gotta be. Good to be back. Yep. How long has this been like? When did they announce it? 2020? I feel like. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of just a meme at this point. Um, I'm very interested to know how this works. I don't really sleep much, so I'd probably be crap at catching Pokemon in my sleep. That 5 a.m. grind. Yo, Bulbasaur. Hell yeah. I think that's Bulbasaur, right? I'm so interested in how this works. Is it going to reward me for having a good night's sleep? Uh, get me an alarm clock like Bulbasaur, man. Love Bulbasaur. Underrated. I like this kind of live action slash animation. It's cool. So, what? How does this is gonna work? I
Mm. That's cute. Oh, okay, bro, go on. Rest your very best. It's hard, bro. On that grind. Um, please explain how this works, because I guess you get that thing. You've got to have that, like... You've kept you all I don't know what it is, like a but device. Alas, They've changed the logo as well. I feel like they year. have. Or maybe we never got a logo. The idea behind Pokemon Sleep is to be a game that makes you look forward to waking up in the morning. Push. To get a better idea of God, what you can when your job's so depressing, good thing you have year. Pokemon Sleep. Oh gosh. Welcome to the world of Pokemon Sleep. Your adventure takes place on a small island. Okay. I like the art style. On this island, you'll find great cool Pokemon to catch. And Professor Neroli, who is Oh, we got a new professor. I'm assuming that's a tree, Neroli. Or is it... Is it? I, I've never heard of it, I'll be honest. Um, tree experts in the comment section hating on me. I, I don't know if it is. I could just be... <laughs> it might not be a tree, but... No one our professors work on Pokemon, it probably is. Um, <laughs> seven hours. Imagine it's seven hours, seven hours sleep. I would love that. I'm lucky to get five. God, they must be the... <laughs> I'd have the grumpiest Pokemon that sleep the way I do, I think. But I kind of like this. This is a cool idea. I've always kind of been interested of when I do fall asleep, you know, how long I stay asleep for. I do wake up quite a bit in the night. I think, like, every night. I don't know why. I always go back to sleep. I feel like everyone's got, like, a deep dive into my sleeping patterns. But, yeah. Summer 23. Okay. Like, I'm interested in it. It's still not really telling me what it does By using the pokemon sleep app regularly you can have fun while tracking the regularity of your sleep or rest rhythm okay pokemon sleep will be available for ios and android devices later this year next we'd like to introduce the device you just got a glimpse right of, yeah this the pokemon I, go plus plus which <laughs> okay well i got the pokemon go plus it never bloody worked this is the pokemon go plus they, plus they couldn't have thought of a it is a new device better that you can word use with Pokemon Sleep and Pokemon Go. It's very simple to use it with Pokemon Sleep. Okay. Press the button when you are going to bed. If you wake up. Would that not? Oh, okay. And press that button once again when you wake up. Amy, funny. I I just forget to press it. I would definitely Outside forget that, to press it. The speed data has been measured. And plus, it's like when you get up, There's you have to press it to say you got up. Pokemon Go. Um, I'm kind of interested to know how it works with Pokemon Go. It can sing you lullabies. Push. <laughs> of course it can. Of course it can. Grow friendlier the more sleep you get together. Even unlock new alarms. Oh, we would not be friends then, would we? <laughs> um, I'd assume we'd have, like, Jigglypuff. Like, that's when I think of a Pokemon lullaby. Especially from the anime. Okay. So that's that's kind of cool. And now you can choose to play that's pretty cool to be honest um oh do i want one of them maybe maybe that's kind of cool but like i had a pokemon go plus from day one it just never worked on my phone for whatever reason uh i wouldn't say that's worth wait is that like on pokemon go yeah it's it's okay. Look forward to more news to come about I feel like this is such a weird Pokemon, Go plus plus Pokemon plus. present. How long have we got left? And next, we turn to the latest updates about Pokemon. Mate, we're getting we're getting no Mr. Dungeon, are we? <laughs> we're getting no Mr. Dungeon. The Pokemon series, which were released in November last year. Right, just give me Scarlet and Violet. Show me some new Pokemon. Uh, oh, I've heard about these. <laughs> well, I heard someone mention about Ver Verizon, Verizon. I'm assuming that's Suicune? I mean, that's pretty cool. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, I'm not too bothered about the Ver Verizon design. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Water dragon, grass psychic. That's so weird, that, that Suicune. While iron leaves can be found in Pokemon Violet. Okay. You'll be able to catch them for yourself by claiming victory in a Terra Raid battle event. When? The event will begin not long after this broadcast. Yes, let's go. I, I think there's going to be some shiny hunts for these, 100%. You well, if you can. Family, friends, and other okay, I'm down, I'm down. Time. I like that. I'll, I'll jump back on. The games will also soon be able to connect to Pokemon Go. Hmm. In Pokemon Go, you can receive gifts from friends or by visiting Pokestops around the world. These gifts come with postcards. Once it's possible to connect these games, okay. you'll be able to send postcards to your Pokemon Scarlet or Pokemon Violet games. And you'll find that the pattern of Vivian that appear there will change based on the postcard's location. Is that it? And on the Pokemon Go side, the players who have sent postcards will find themselves able to catch roaming form guinea gear uh, in that game. Uh, Try to collect 999 it's... guinea gear coins to evolve guinea gear into gold. Oh no. Oh no. No, thank you. We're also planning to begin Pokemon Home support for mm. Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Now Violet that's what I care about. Year. Then you'll be able to bring roaming form guinea gear that you've caught in Pokemon Go to Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet via Pokemon Home. It all seems very we convoluted. Hope you look to it. Um, that's cool, I guess. Yeah, I like Pokemon Home, I, I do care about. We're not getting Mr. Dungeon. Please have a look at this. Uh, we're not, are we? No, it's Scarlet and Violet, innit? Oh, <laughs> why? Why do we get excited about this? Oh, wait. wait. Trimeco, apples? No. No. Oh. Oh, wait. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. They. Uh, unless that's just the starters in different form. What? There's some new Pokemon here. There's definitely some new Pokemon. Oh, man. I was expecting explorers. This is cool, though. Is this a new. Wait, this is Legend? No. <gasps> Wait, what? Yo, hang on. Hello? Is this DLC or a new game? It's gotta be DLC, right? It's gotta be. I don't know why they put a new game out, but. I'm so. Are they. They're not new Elite Four, what? So there's like a battle. Yeah, okay, yeah, Skull and Pilot, that's fine. I mean, that's cool. I like the designs. Hidden treasure of Area. Oh, of Area Zero, yes. Okay. That's. The Teal Mask. I'm not a fan of that design, really. Oh, is this on Violets? Now this looks cool. What's this? Whoa. That's... Oh, oh. Oh, okay. I, okay. So is that how they're going to do it? Fall 23. Oof, jeez. That is further away than I thought it would be. will be available for purchase for the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games. The title of this DLC is The Hidden Treasure of Area Zero. Bro, mystery dungeon fans in, in shambles like Hidden me. <laughs> oh, bro, like, cool, but we knew this was going to happen. This is why you never get yourself, you, you set yourself up for this. Oh, man. Three years on from uh, Rescue Team, I generally thought Explorers would come out. In part one, the teal what are these mask, Pokemon? You'll be visiting the land of Kitakami as part of a school trip as your adventures expand beyond the Those like those cactus designs cool, those and in part two Pokemon the weird. Indigo Disc okay. you'll be studying as an exchange student at Blueberry Academy. That's cool. Like I'm down for that. Part two kinda looks you'll be Ooh. able to encounter some familiar Pokemon, 
that you didn't see living in Caldea. Well, I'm assuming with Pokemon Home you can kind of like bring them all over anyway. Not a Pokemon fan really of that first one. Hidden treasure of Area Zero, our ogre pond with its fearsome mouse and Terrapagos. That ogre, that's, that's not the strange souvenir, is it? Like I know we used to keep going on about that like back in the day from X and Y. Parts as you discover the I can't really remember what it looks like. It surely ain't that. Adventures. The hidden treasure of Area Zero will be available for purchase on Nintendo eShop shortly after this Man. presentation ends. Oh no. Mr. Tunji, where are you, bro? Purchase, you'll be able to get the new I mean, set, it's bad enough there's hardly any customization in this game. Violet Games. So I mean they look cool, but as an early purchase bonus, we've also prepared a serial code that will allow you to claim a special Hisuian Man. for your I don't know how to feel, game. like cause this is all cool. We hope you enjoy these but Pokemon, what are you doing this year? Pokemon Do you know what I mean? Like, Violet Games. I thought they'd be doing a bit more. What did you think? Looks like a As six out of ten, because like we knew we'll that's coming. Trying to find new ways to bring the joy of Pokemon to you all. Thank you for tuning in. I'm trying to remember what they announced last year. Well. Well, that, oh god, I don't know what to think, like, how, how, it wasn't bad, I don't know, like, where's Mystery Dungeon? <laughs> I was, I was really expecting it, I'm not gonna lie, that is like, the bare minimum of what I thought we'd get, the fact that's coming out fall and, and winter, like, what else are they doing, do you know what I mean, like, are they just... Have you got anything else planned for the year in terms of spin-offs? Um, I thought it would be like, you announced them today. And they literally just showed Pokemon Sleep's finally coming out. Um, and what? <laughs> we got some updates for Unite and Masters like we always do. That, I'm not going to lie, that's a disappointing one. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie, that's disappointing. I at least wanted one spin-off game. Unless I'm like forgetting something, it's like they ticked the boxes to do the bare minimum. Because we knew DLC was happening. Like, they would have planned that before you even put those games out. Um, yeah, not not great, to be honest. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I mean, I, yeah, I was, like, ready to do, like, deep dives into, like, if they revealed Explorers kind of gameplay and stuff. And, yeah, they just, they didn't. So, I don't know. Like, I, I don't know if I care enough to, like, cover that Scarlet and Violet DLC stuff. I feel like everyone else will. But, and it's, you know, I enjoyed Scarlet and Violet, but, like, Mystery Dungeon, I was, like, I was ready. I was ready for that. It might be, like, you see me again in a year's time for, on this day for, like, Ex Explorer's Remake. That's, yeah, that's mega disappointing. I don't think they really announce, like, Pokemon don't really announce other games throughout the year, as far as I'm aware. They don't do that anymore. I could be wrong. They could show it off in, like, a... I guess they could do it in a Nintendo Direct, but... Man disappointing but that's just me that's just me let me know what you guys think in the comments below it's just nice to record again so i know it's kind of like a i won't say low effort but yeah just just a video i don't know why i could describe it like that but yeah thanks for watching guys let me know in the comments what you thought you know what i think i'm kind of like on the fence about that i feel like they did the bare minimum the dlc at least looks good i kind of want to see a bit more um but yeah hope you guys have an awesome day not said that in a while <laughs> And uh, I'll catch you next time, whenever that'll be. Peace.